Right now in the media, we see a lot of black representation that's around negativity. It becomes newsworthy when black people die or are being victimized, or when black people sort of rise up in response to that. But we don't see black love and black joy and just um, like everyday moments that are very quiet, but at the same time very powerful. And so for me, it's like um, saying, no, these moments are important and they're here. My name is Chun Lee. I'm a Toronto-based photographer and storyteller. My project, Fade Resistance, is an archive of 3,500 Polaroids that I didn't take. I was born and raised in Germany. Grew up with Korean parents who I thought were my biological parents. And then much, much later, I find out that my actual father is African American. My project Father Figure, which was about exploring black father absence and why we look at black males in a certain pathological way. And why do we not permit black men to be seen in much more humanized ways that are more nuanced and more complex. And that's what I wanted to capture with the work. Yes, I wanted to look at black fathers and how they're parent, but really the question I'm answering is why do we not see that in the media? You know, in the States, there was a great recession and a mortgage crisis, and a lot of families lost their homes through foreclosure, and disproportionately so, a lot of African-American families were affected. So I'm, I'm imagining that in that process, a lot of families also lost not only their personal belongings, but their family photos. In 2012, that's when I found my first set. I think it was in Chicago or Detroit, and I found literally photos on the street, and I thought somebody had lost them or dropped them, like, recently and I picked them up and I um, asked neighbors you know do you know these photos and they're like no and they told me well it's kind of common here like there's photos everywhere you see so much love and joy and then you wonder you know who would who would lose them over time I found a whole eBay community of vendors that actually sell them and I think over like the course of two, three years, I now have 3,500 and, and growing. It weighs on me to not really have the original owners attached to them. There's actual families who know what these photos meant and us speculating about them is kind of not okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very much mindful of that. That's why I posted them on social media. I want these families to just say, yes, that's us. Send them back to us or take them down. I personally, and that's probably another motivation, I don't have any family photos of myself. Um, so for me, that kind of fills a gap in my own history as well. So for me, it's looking at these and saying, wow, it reminds me of my own sort of history and growing up. So. You know, that's why it's so relevant to me to, to say the world needs to see that. Black love and black joy matters and that needs to be seen and foregrounded. <laughs>